No one knows what the future holds, but if a new house is in your future, I can help from a safe distance. I'm Nick Acosta, your downtown expert, and I'm hosting safe and sanitary open houses. Nothing is different except for temperature checks at the door and masks are required, but it still smells like there are fresh baked cookies in the oven. So come on by one of my safe and sanitary open houses and I'll say welcome home from six feet away. This is Home to All, an all-inclusive real estate podcast with your host, Nicholas Acosta. Nick sits down with guests to talk about real estate and how it works. Reach him at downtown.expert on Facebook and Instagram or his website, www.downtown.expert or call or text him at 407-508-8809. Enjoy the episode. Hello, everybody. This is Nicholas Acosta, your host of the podcast, Home to All, an all-inclusive real estate podcast, coming to you live from St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, today's guest that I will be adding in here in a second, Adam Rosenblum, uh, sales executive at Zillow. Uh, he set me up with Zillow Premier. Let me go ahead and bring him in. Uh, one second, guys. Uh, hey, Adam, how's it going, sir? Hello, good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, just wanted to Welcome you to the show, and thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to be on as a guest. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Happy to be um, here. Awesome. So with that, I just want to get started with you, um, uh, just to let everybody know uh, that I am a premier agent subscriber now uh, with Downtown Expert Realty, and uh, I know you are were following me around trying to get me to join, but now I did join, and I've had nothing but amazing results, uh, like we mentioned in pre-show. One of the Zillow Premier leads is under contract, and uh, my buyer's agent is actually working on another one. Uh, but we also have had quite a bit of appointments as well, about six or seven appointments so far. Uh, so tell us, uh, tell us out there why, what's important about Zillow Premier agent, and what does it benefit the brokerage, a broker or a real estate agent out there in the field? Absolutely. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to something like this is to make sure that you have the right expectations. When it comes to investing in your business, right? Sure, you could throw money at the wall and hope that it sticks, right? But when it comes to investing, especially with Zillow, you know, we look at it from a long-term perspective as a, as a true campaign, right? Of course, people want to convert leads right away. You know, of course, people want to make money back right away if they're going to spend that money. So when we speak with brokerages, when we speak with brokers, even our team that works with individual agents, you know, we want to make sure that we're setting the proper expectation, you know, when it comes to investing with Zillow. The last thing we would want to do is talk about how great it is and then have X amount of months go by and have someone call back either disgruntled because it's not working uh, as quickly as they had anticipated or they're just not having a good experience. So we try to be fully as transparent as possible, talk about how this will help their business tremendously, like we did for, for quite some time you know, look at the markets that they're interested in, assess the pros and cons based on traffic, home value, different things of that nature, and make sure that we're putting them in the best position to be successful. No, I couldn't agree more on that. Um, and that, that probably was one hesitation I had. It was probably just from stories I heard from other real estate agents and brokerages. Um, basically, between you and then my account representative, uh, Robert, that uh, what I've learned and Zillow offers, you guys have some like uh, hour trainings that you have on a, a calendar that you sign up for, which I've done and my associates have done as well. And we'll continue to, I keep taking the same ones over and over again. Uh, basically, these are trainings that you guys offer that help you leverage these leads. Um, for instance, like the people that out there that are listening or watching today or watching this episode uh, that are maybe disgruntled that they didn't get expected leads right away or never got any leads. It takes some... Um, training but it also takes some time and effort on your part to be able to convert these leads it's not going to be it comes and no matter where your source of leads comes from every lead has to be worked in a certain way and if you don't work those leads then you'll never convert them do you agree with that adam i do you know it's important in all aspects of sales right they say that you want to give the proper amount of touch points per lead right whether it's real estate whether it's you know tech um kind of saas which is what i'm doing but you know, you always want to make sure that you're following up with each lead as much as you can, right? Some will be awesome, 
right? Layups, which we will say, where they say, yep, I'm pre-approved and I want to see this house and I'm pretty sure it's the one. Some will be, you know, not so good. You know, some, you know, you'll hit a roadblock and they'll either say, no, they're not pre-approved or they're moving or their time frame isn't what you expected. Um, but it's all in all, it's, it's super important to make sure that you're going in with the right mindset, understanding that, yes, you did make the right move. And yes, it will pay off over time. No, I completely agree. And I've only been in this for a little bit less than a month now. And uh, yes, my team, and I'm not saying anything about anybody else's team, but if you put in the time and the effort and you take the, the, the training that is offered to you by Zillow that you can sign up for when you're part of the premier agent, um, it's very, very helpful. Uh, it's opened my eyes to learn how to, to work with, especially with nurture leads. I learned a lot more. I've been in this business for going on three years now, but in the last month or a little last few weeks uh, with some of the training that you guys offer there, Adam or Zillow, um, in terms of nurture leads, there's a lot of stuff that it was awesome because in the, the particular class, we were able to, to ask questions to the instructor, to the trainer, and they were actually giving us some advice and tips on how to work with nurture leads, which I think that's a, a – is, I know for me and my associates and other people, colleagues in the, the business, the nurture leads, as you mentioned, we may get mentioned at the beginning of the show, probably are the most uh, the most challenging because a lot of people want instant gratification. Uh, but it, you have to remember it, that you can't expect instant gratification. You have to continue to work those leads diligently and consistently. Uh, for instance, I did an open house once in Kissimmee on a listing I had. Uh, a buyer, just for an example of a lead, this was a lead from an open house. And the buyer said, or the visitor of the open house said, I'm not going to buy. I live in Texas with my family. We're not ready to move. Uh, and he told me on the day of closing, which I ended up helping him and his wife buy a house. And his daughter and son-in-law buy a, an apartment unit, in, both in Kissimmee, down the street from each other. And he said to me at the closing table, and I know this is true for you and I, our relationship, Adam, for as your uh, Zillow relationship, uh, is that he said to me, your persistence and your consistency is the reason I came back to you to buy a house. I really wasn't ready to buy when you first met me, but since you followed up with me every other week or whatever it was, or every three weeks, um, you got me influenced and encouraged to go ahead and get excited about buying this house. When you say the same thing about the Zillow leads, I mean, yes, this is from an open house, but every lead where it comes from, no matter where it originates from, whether it's Zillow or an open house organic lead, um, it's the same mindset or same principle. You, if you don't work that lead and you don't follow up the lead correctly, you're not going to convert that lead into a buyer or seller. Am I correct on that? A hundred percent. You know, when it comes to the nurture leads, especially like you just said, is, is a perfect example of not even a worst case, but almost like a dragged out process, right? Sure. Hey, not only do we live in Texas, but we're not ready to buy, right? So you probably right off the bat, we're like, okay, so I might have to, you know, follow up periodically, kind of see what's going on, check in from time to time. But as you can see that that paid off, right? And they told you point blank, you know, we came back because of your persistency and the same kind of thing happens in, all aspects of sales and certainly real estate, whether you got the leads from Zillow or not, when someone is labeled as a nurture lead, you know, even if someone were to reach out to you organically through the website or they say, Hey, I saw the podcast or I saw the commercial on TV or I stumbled across the website, you know, and then you make that initial interaction. It's all about that pipeline nurturing that is important, especially when it comes to real estate is you have a tremendous amount of leads categorizing which ones are ready, which ones are not ready, and which ones you're nurturing. No, I completely agree with that. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, basically, you know, utilizing Zillow and working with Zillow as a, I guess the best word to put it would be synergy. So multiple different types of marketing, for instance, like Adam was mentioning, we have the podcast that you guys are watching now or later, uh, whether it's video or audio, both. Um, I have a TV spot running in Pinellas County. I have the Zillow premiere uh, that's spread across the state now, and well, at least in Orlando, Port Charlotte, and St. Pete areas. Um, but it's also, the other thing I think of it this way, 
I also I do door, not door knocking necessarily, but I pass out door hangers, which I do weekly as well. And so what's cool about it too, and Adam, is the way I'm looking at it, and anybody listening or watching this episode, you got to look at it this way. So you have my logo that's on the Zillow Premiere that comes up, whether depending on what position it is, depending on what my budget is for advertising, um, where it shows up. But in terms of brand recognition, so for instance, you have somebody in Pinellas that sees my TV commercial. They see the logo on the commercial. And then they're on Zillow, which we all know is one of the most popular, is the most popular site to look for homes or rentals out there. Um, so they see that logo, they're going to put the two together and be like, okay, so they're going to click on my, see so I'm maybe third or fourth down, not necessarily at the top, just because of where my budget's at. But it's not just about where you're positioned in that, in that ranking. Yeah, that's important for sure to be on the top if you want to. But if you have the brand recognition, somebody might click on that link or my, my logo now because they see it on TV. They see the door hanger or they see the podcast. Um, I think that's, don't you agree, that synergy with all different aspects. But implementing the Zillow, which I think is the, the golden opportunity here for us as downtown expert, really as a brokerage. Um, I think we had, there were two things. We've, we've heard like my agents were, we, everybody in the business is skeptical, especially if you have to put, invest money in something because you're not, you're nervous. People also want instant gratification. Um, but would you say with Zillow, is it, uh, how long would you see a return on investment? Is it six months, three months, or when do you think that people will start to realize, start clicking on your, your logo more often on the Zillow searches in your area that it comes up in? I would say on an average, because the requirement that we ask for is a six month campaign, on average, most see success in months three, transitioning to months four, right? So a lot of folks will ask me, you know, what is the commitment? Can I do it month to month, things of that nature? And I tell them, you know, it's not only is it six months, but the reason why we do six months is because one, you know, we don't want you to feel trapped for a year, but two, we feel so confident that you're going to reap the benefits of the platform over a six month period that you will gladly renew it again for another six months at your own free will. Right. So when it comes to brand recognition, sure. Right. A hundred percent online is where it's at these days. A lot of folks in the industry will agree that, you know, print definitely still helps them to a certain extent. And I agree that it does, but the majority of, when it comes to home searching, when it comes to marketing for a brokerage, definitely has transitioned to the online portal these last couple of years. And just like you said, it's very important for someone to see the commercial, recognize the logo, go on Zillow. All of a sudden they're sitting there going, you know what? I'm new to the area. I'm new to the county. I don't really know what I'm looking for. So let me find someone who can help me first. Then all of a sudden they stumble across the logo that way. And then the rest is history. You form that relationship. You provide that feedback, that advice based on what type of house and what uh, type of area they want to live in. And then you, of course, will then steer it from there. So I, I completely agree that you know, brand recognition is, is a, a key element to uh, brokerage successes on our platform and just in real estate outright. And uh, I guess a side note, real quick, before before we run out of time, but I don't. You probably have seen it, obviously, working for Zillow, and I'm sure they shared it with you. And or if you watch Saturday Night Live, uh, I thought that was hilarious, though, when yeah. uh, Dan Levy did the the spoof of Zillow. It was like they were on a trying to have to figure out what to do on a Saturday night, and instead of going out on a date around the town, they were sitting with their laptops looking at homes on Zillow, and uh, it was pretty funny. That get yeah. hit on that show, um, but it's so true because that's what they did. They nailed it right on the head when they saw that. Like I couldn't stop laughing because laughing not in a in a bad way, but laughing in a funny way because that's just true how society has become and Americans have become and people around the world. Like people, that, you have to remember everybody listening to the episode that you know people are looking. I'm sure outside of the United States to buy a house in the United States or rent a house coming to Disney World or Universal and they need a place to rent for a few months or a week or whatever it may be or buy a second home or an investment vacation home in Florida, they're going to look at this uh, stuff worldwide. So you're not just getting your exposure. Obviously, my TV spot and well, my podcast is worldwide, but the TV spot is local. Um, and that's just mostly because I want to still 
go after the demographic that still watches cable over a cable box. I know most people do the digital. Yes, we do advertise on social media as well. Uh, but putting all, mar marrying all those things together, one brand recognition like we talk about, but we didn't want to be left out with not having the Zillow. And uh, like I said, with us, it, it just took us some time to get to that certain level. Our brokers got to the level now. Um, speaking of which, real quick too, we, we did join, uh, uh, we did get a, uh, what do you call it, a lender premier partner added on to take care of, uh, which the RESPA requirements allow up to half of the budget. Uh, we did get that added in yesterday, by the way, Adam. I don't know if, uh, if Robert had said that to you or you found out or if I told you about that. But nice. um, Yeah, that's great to hear. So the lender is helping with up to half. Um, and the lender is really excited and stoked because they know that it's going to benefit them as well because obviously they want closings too and they also want to help us get sales uh, on a monthly basis. So there are options out there. Don't feel like you're going to go this alone. Um, you know, the lenders out there are willing to help you out with this if they can. It all depends on their budget and what, what they're dealing with. But um, as far as that, I mean, they're excited too because they want to get the exposure as well. And um, it's really nice that we have that. I feel confident now that we got the lender. And uh, and like I said, obviously everybody's results are different. Uh, but like as far as I'm very 100% satisfied, maybe 120% satisfied so far, just because we were already converted one of the leads into a buyer uh, that's actually under contract. And then the other one is we're working on another one, but we've also got several appointments that we did. And then we have nurtures, uh, but we've been going through the training on how to work with the nurtures. And we're not going to give up on those because we know that sometimes even when you go to open houses, just like the gentleman that came to my open house, he said, I'm not ready to buy for four to six months, which some nurture leads may say, maybe they need to work on their credit. Maybe they're not ready to buy or they need to save up some more money for the down payment. But don't give up on those nurture leads that you get as a Zillow Premier customer uh, because they will eventually turn into, if you have the persistence and the consistency and the follow through with them, uh, they will eventually come to you and say, Nick or whoever it may be, we're ready to buy now. Let's get out there and look at these houses. And then you get in with a lender. The lender gets them pre-approved. You start showing houses. And before you know it, the rest is history. You're at the closing table. And uh, then you also can continue to work with them as a lead going forward if they were to sell, to sell that house. Um, and also, the other, so that's that's important why you should choose the Zillow Premier. And another thing, Adam, that everybody asks me all the time, and this is how I, how I tell my associates that work for me, independent contractors, and they say, well, these, these leads are only for buyers. What do I do about getting listing leads? Well, I always phrase it this way, and I know you, I'm sure you guys would agree with this. And if you don't, mm -hmm. let me know, but I'm sure you might do agree that basically you never know when you meet these leads for the first time and you go out, you need to find out do they own a house currently or a condo or whatever it may be. Um, so you might have the opportunity of listing the house that they live in currently for them in order that may be a requirement for them to buy a new house. So you're not only going to get them to buy something potentially but you have the potential of selling their property for them because they're going to want to have one trusted advisor, you know, that they're working with that lead that you get when they get assigned to an agent. And so would you agree that to, to for me to continue to train my associates and anybody else that asked me about this, just like what I said, that, that there is a potential for a listing there um, if they have something to sell. Not only that, there's a potential for them to be an investor to buy an apartment complex too. Just because they're buying a house now doesn't mean they're not an investor that would like to put their money towards something else like an investment property as well, correct? Absolutely. I mean, I, I would agree 100%. I mean, the biggest thing, you know, when it comes to this is, yes, right, it's a buyer. All of a sudden, they want to sell. All of a sudden, they refer you to their parents, right, and their cousins, and so on and so forth. And now you're sitting there going, wow, I now have potentially three to four other sales in my pipeline from just one lead that I got, right? right? And then you look at the return on investment moving forward and it's tremendous. Quick side story, we have a uh, premier agent advisory board. So essentially it's like a board of directors per se, um, kind of styled group, group of people. So they are premier brokers and premier agents across the United States. And um, we, they, we basically bounce different ideas off of them. They kind of beta test certain things, but 
they actually came to our office to speak on some of their successes and how this has changed their business. And one of them said exactly that, where they had sold a married couple. Unfortunately, they got divorced. So then they, she sold a house for the, the woman and a house for the male, and then they got married again. So they had to sell those two houses and buy two more houses. So it ended up being like six or so transactions. So yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, I always recommend and I always try to be as transparent as possible with those I work with. If you're curious about how it works, regardless of what you've heard from others, uh, pros or cons, respectively, you know, give us a call. It's always good to talk about it for 20, 30 minutes. And worst case, you learn about what we're doing, right? Best case, we put something together uh, like we did for Nick and you reap the benefits similar to how he is currently. Awesome, Adam. Thank you very much uh, for joining me today. And as you know, in the business, when you have a positive experience, more people share that experience with others in the business or others in the world. Uh, but I will tell you that we are big advocates of the Zillow Premier Agent now in our brokerage. Um, we got some leads in Port Charlotte already and, of course, a couple in St. Pete. And uh, we will be out there spreading the good word about Zillow to everybody because we'll just to let you know, I will remind anybody that asked me with any doubt that it's about persistence and consistency uh, to get those leads to convert, whether it's a nurture or an immediate buyer. Uh, I'm really thankful for your taking your time out of the today to share this with us. Zillow.com, everybody. Adam Rosenblum, sales executive with Zillow. Thank you again, sir, for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Much appreciated. All right. You got it. And uh, I will uh, talk to you later, sir. Have a good day. All right. All right. Thank you. This has been Home to All, an all-inclusive real estate podcast. Find Nick on Facebook and Instagram at downtown.expert and also his website, www.downtown.expert or call or text him at 407-508-8809. Thanks for listening. Don't spend hours or days looking for your new home. Let a downtown Central Florida expert guide you. I'm Nicholas Acosta, and I'm here to welcome you home. Being a Florida native, I know how exciting, stylish, and convenient the downtown lifestyle can be. From the nightlife scene in the heart of downtown to the natural beauty of Florida, I'm Nicholas Acosta, and I'm here to welcome you home.